Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a challenge from the Auburn CTF. This is a crypto challenge called Schwifty or Shifty Schwoozy. Uh, not a lot of teams solve this, so that's why I wanted to take a look at it. It's because it's not really a hard challenge, uh, but maybe there's something that a lot of people missed. So this, this description is, Eve woke up to this message after a really crazy night. Everything is shifting, shifted around. Can you figure out what it says? And then we have a message. Which, well, looks like a shift cipher. Um, so let's take a look at this. So first, the first thing to note is that we have these quotes and these punctuation characters that don't seem to be shifted. Also, spaces don't seem to be sh seem to be shifted as well as this could, well, well and truly be a text. So then, what I'd like to look at is uh, I like to figure out if this is every letter uh, has been added or subtracted from a number, or if this is a more elaborate cipher where we have a key that's going to change a lot of things. And I like to um, look at the one uh, letter words for that. For example, we see a C, O, T, um, W, L, S, and that's a lot of one letter words. And then in the English language, I don't, I think there's only I and A. So that would mean that there's probably a key here. Um, so for example, if the key was uh, A, B, then we would add A to K, add B to B, add A to U, add B to L. Right, but that, it's not going to be that easy. Um, but so we have to figure out what that is. So the, I pulled up um, Cyberchef and I got a veneer decode in here. So if you look at it, veneer is a method of encrypting alphabetic text by using a series of different Caesar ciphers. So, so pretty much a, a um, well, a shift cipher, right? So what this is going to do, it's going to take a key. Um, it's going to take a key, okay, and then it's going to add or subtract or shift using that key. So right, so KB becomes KA and stuff like that. Now, since this is such a big text, we can easily uh, like brute force that, check what size of keys or what keys actually come out with some interesting information. And well, there's no need to, to, do, to do that yourself. So what I did is I googled veneer decode brute force. I checked out a couple of these sites, but this one uh, worked the best for me. So if we take a look at that site, I pasted in our text. Let's try to auto solve that without a key. It's going to take a while. It's going to start doing stuff. And, and let's see if it comes out with any reasonable results. Now, as we can see, it doesn't, didn't really come up with anything. This is still garbage. There doesn't seem to be anything in there. So maybe the key size needs to be increased. So let's run that with a larger key size. Because from a brute first, we should always get some reasonable information, right? And if, if it's all just garbage, then there's probably an issue. And, and we should try some stuff, some more stuff, right? So far, that doesn't seem to have come up with anything again. Oh, but now we get some interesting information, right? Because we see here, my younger and more uh, than gave me some advice and stuff like that. And that's very interesting because this is a key of length 19. And a lot of stuff in the first row seems to be right. So let's copy that key. Check that out. So we see some stuff in the first uh, couple of, of, of parts is correct. Let's take a look at the end. And at the end, we also see uh, ran towards the front, uh, Georgian. We see, see some stuff that still matches. So that means that the key length is probably correct, or the key length is a mul multiple of this length. Um, so we've already figured out that the key length is a multiple of 19. Now let's take a look at this again. So here it starts with starts with my younger. Here it starts with in my younger and. So this is more complete. So the beginning is probably going to be coincide. So let's like actually add that here. So that's going to become coincide with the correct length. Okay. So okay. Now we have in my younger and more v. Let's see if we can uh, get something more from there. Uh, here we have vol. Here we have vulnerable. So. Uh, Vulnerable is probably going to be vulnerable. Here we have vulnerable fully, and that is uh, use of this may help. So if we put coins, uh, coincides, 
there that's probably going to be may help so let's check that out oh we already tested may help so it's not the correct part um oh but you solve this maybe what comes across with that so let's paste that in you solve this and now we see well the begin beginning is fully correct but now all of the rest became garbage and that's because we changed the length of the key and this is not a multiple of 19 anymore right so if you want to fix that we would have to make it a multiple again um, maybe remove from it all right that was 19 so it's going to be Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, there we go. So now we made the key size a multiple of nineteen again, and now we have a lot more that's correct again. Now at the end here, we have a lot of stuff that's still correct. So that's that, and now we still need to figure out this last part here. So we were at vulnerable. Let's see if we can find something else that matches after that. Uh, um, vulnerable years. Okay, year seems to be fine, so that's, uh, you solve this pro help, um, but that's only one word, but well, I guess we can add the pro there, or let's see what pro help gives us, that's here, okay, year, so now we have to find this last part still, let's go back up. Here we have father, which is Mayblum. Let's check that out. So, well, pro and Mayblum, well, that's probably going to be problem. And as you can see, coincides may help you solve this problem is the correct key because our text is decoded now. And now we can start reading this, but I'm going to skip ahead and say this is the interesting part because this says the answer is the following. Sometimes you have to do things by yourself, replace the spaces with underscores and wrap it in the usual format. So let's do that. AUCTF, wrap that in there and replace the spaces with underscores. And that's going to be it for that problem. Um, I really don't get why this didn't have as many solves as some of the other challenges. It's um, quite an interesting one, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you back in another one.